Hello. This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. G'day all. Building a light bar for Fat Finger for his Z750. Now, here's one of these um, Kawasaki covers. is a bit perished and I think he said it, both ends have been broken. So... Uh, I'm going to build him one of these light bars to actually suit. Alright, anyway, you've got your tags, we've got your tube. What we're going to do is uh, eventually weld these nuts. We're going to grind down those points and then put them inside and then weld them on the tips. But uh, for now, I've got to get another nut, so holding off on that. That's pretty much there. Now, distance is... 4.7 or 47 millimeter. All right, I've tech welded them on, and now what I'm doing is I'm just bending the tags around to tack them on more, and but offer uh, as a cradle as well. All right. Pressed up against nicely. Now we tack it on a little more. Now, no face mask. Needs to be turned on, silly. Oh, totally missed. Go, son of a bitch. Just popped everything in the garage. I gotta fix a fuse. Alright, I've got it to this stage. Now it's very messy, uh, very messy welds, but um, this is done with an arc welder, and arc welding is, is an absolute art, art form. So it's tacked on enough. Um, I'll take it to my brother's who's got a gas MIG welder and tack it up some more but um, this is coming along I want to do a dribble just in there and uh, fix up around there bring it home, grind it all down, neaten it up and then it'll be ready for painting cool excellent, alright, it's coming along this is only next this phase so uh, I'll finish the uh, welding Give it a sand. I've got to find another nut. Grind those down. Weld those in. One on either end. And then it's ready for painting. Cool. Not far. Light bar is taking shape. This one is also more slender. It uh, just reaches the edges of, uh, of the forks. And I've intentionally done that. Because uh, once you put the bodies on the end, it's going to stick out. You know a lot further so I wanted to keep it within a profile of being slender next stage when I get those nuts groovy yay I uh, needed another one of these nuts and get on there I decided before I go down the hardware store just to check that's too big that one just to check my car because I do keep a lot of nuts in my car and yes wow I found another one exactly the same cool let it cool down all right I have welded both nuts on. I wouldn't say it's a great job, but uh, now I've got to grind back all this uh, budgie poo and uh, see what's left behind as far as what needs touching up. Um, the nuts didn't hold up too well. They melted a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. Looking down the surface, the gap in between the wheel and the uh, 
rod itself just to see where to stop. Now I might have to do some filling up on this end. Looking good though. That sounds kind of nice. Hitting the rev limiter and all. Groovy. One light bar. Sweet. Yet to be cleaned up and touched up. But there you go, fat. Just got to paint it, touch it up. Cool. It's uh, done. Well, pardon me. It's uh, almost done. I want to clean up a bit of the welds, but that's the uh, that's the one that I made in a rush. <laughs> didn't matter about uh, looks because that was all hidden um, but yeah that's the one that I had it's a little bit longer it's probably about a three centimeters overall longer than the one I've just made for fat fingers but um, the idea is where your brake distribution block bolts onto your head stem Arr! this is on the uh, 83 85 to uh, I don't know whenever Z750s they have the the brake distribution block that splits it off into twin and then on that there is this plate if I can get this off yes you got this plate that sits on there and this plate is for the standard Kawasaki plastic cover to bolt on two so I'm utilizing those two bolts I've done it so maybe would it go there it is. So maybe, maybe, I might be able to run both. I just don't know how well the holes will line up. They're pretty close. It almost fits through. I reckon if we cut into that bottom fin, that'd fit a lot better. But that's, uh, that's going to fit, I reckon. So that could be run with the standard cover as well. <coughs> you got to get a new cover, but it could be run with it. Worst case in this... Uh, I'm not going to get it off. Worst case, and this cover doesn't fit on, like it's out that poof length, you could uh, drill these two holes a little bit larger and that'll give you a little bit more um, movement. But for now, it should bolt straight onto your standard bracket. Cool. So yeah, that goes under the bracket and then the bracket gets bolted straight on. Fire done that. So if you can put up with the look of that on your bike um, and then uh, yeah just search around uh, on the interwebby for another one of these. Um, now I've made this look better with um, bumper spray put that up on the screen it's bloody good stuff makes plastic look really good gives it a good texture too so it hides scratches um, yeah you can renew it with that you will have to cut down this fin here so before you paint it just cut two two little slits or cut that whole length um, I'd probably just do two slits just set it in like this one is um, yeah probably do it flush down to that line it'd be right there Actually, the, that line would be enough because these are uh, out a little bit raised. Groovy. So, Mr. Fat Fingers, I just have to go and touch up a couple of welds, give it a spray, but that is pretty much ready to go. Cool. Hope you like it. Hope it works. Hope it keeps those roos away. Oh, and there will be a little surprise in the uh, in the packet as well. I might show it on the video. Because by the time the video is out, you should have this. <laughs> Groovy. Excellent. It's all finished. That's all nice and pretty. Just letting it dry properly. I've only given it in a couple of coats of paint. Only spray cans, so uh, it might scratch. So uh, be careful of it. But... Um, sending you two bolts as well. So
so uh, when you get your brackets pop them on bolt them on and it should work fine if there's any dramas let me know it can be braced up a little bit more or um, one of your mining buddies who can weld a little bit better than, better than me um, can duplicate this using yours as a uh, as a template so yeah now I know you said let you know a price but I'm gonna leave it up to you um, postage fair enough um, that'll be a, uh, a flat rate probably ten bucks or six bucks probably actually yeah, Australia wide I think it is uh, post pack I think I've got one there so yeah but the cost of making it I'm gonna leave that up to you um, so you decide all right it's not as good quality as manufactured but uh, you leave it uh, to your your thoughts as far as how much you'd pay for something like this at the shop Ow. Son of a healthy yeah good one <laughs> Thank you. Pardon me.